Okay. All right. Now we're to rock mirror moment. Yay. <laughs> okay. So that means where are my stuff? So let's take turns on reading these, if I don't mind. Um, I'll start out. He says, I was recently watched the movie Dead Poet Society and the, um, what's that word? Carpe diem. Carpe diem scene features pictures of the whispering deceit. And then he has a link. Oh, it's a YouTube mm-hmm. link. So I will um, put that in the chat. So cool. Mm. Did you have a comment about that, Ms. Wendy? Oh, no, that's, uh, I haven't seen that movie in a while, so. Yeah, yeah I know exactly movie, what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, I like that movie a lot. Yeah. Okay, will you take the next one, Miss Wendy? All righty. Um, last night, I achieved the top score in the world in the new month of Ken Bruce's Pop Master Quiz with 372. And 2 times 7 equals 14 times 3 equals 42. And I reversed the sum <laughs> from 2 to 3 because... We have to go back. <laughs> of, late, of late, I have been masterly playing the new Facebook game named Song Pop. And one of most recent Bye. scores upon Song Pop was 2, 2, 3, 4, 2. Wow. Yeah. I keep going. There's a Congrats. little more. Um, yeah. 2, 1, 1, 2 is a poor score upon the aforementioned song pop, but it is also the title of a not-so-poor Rush album track that has recently featured prominently in my life and which includes the following Mimo lyrics line, Let them all make their own music. Ah, Very cool. Cool. Wow, that's impressive. Link. That's impressive, Rob, that you're mm-hmm. like the top score in the world. Wow. Yeah. You know, your pop master, is it music? Is that what it is? I'm guessing it's music. Pop song, pop, right? Right? As you can hear, I'm well known for my modesty. <laughs> Here's the link he put up about the song. Um, okay, Wayne, are you with us? Yep. Okay, I'll let you read the next one. Okay. I recently purchased an album by the short lived 70s rock band Lone Star. Song title memos on this album are Time Lays Down, The Ballad of Crafty Jack and a million stars. <laughs> <laughs> but the biggest memo linked with this album is that the name of one member of Lone Star was Peter Hurley. Wow, oh, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks. Cool. All right, the next one says, for a radio theme show, I recently submitted a chosen subject to you. I suggested the song Lost in Space by the band Apollo 440. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, Miss Wendy. Oh, um, for yet another radio theme show, I recently submitted the chosen subject to, I suggested the marathon song, Beyond the Veil. And Beyond the Veil lyrically concerns musings of the afterlife. And there is a link to that. All righty. I'll put that in the chat room. Mm-hmm. So there's that. Okay. Um, Wayne, I think it's your turn. Okay. I have recently rewatched possibly my favorite Expos episode entitled Sunshine Days. I think we were talking about this earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, and several minutes into the episode, while I was viewing on the Memo Name website, put lock, <laughs> put locker. <laughs> <laughs> he emphasized the uh, the word lock. <laughs> um, I was oh, surprised like to see. Lock. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that. Um, I was surprised to see a, a main character who went by the name, by the surname of Reyes, and a guest character played by Michael Emerson. The mm-hmm. Emerson character possessed an out of control electric magnetic power, and was seen in a flashback scene as a special child. Huh. Ah, Sunshine Days. Yeah. Wow. Well, I have to go watch that right now. <laughs> I'll put the link to the Wikipedia. Interesting. Huh. Cool. Thanks, Rob. Okay, I think it's my turn, and I'm posting this in the chat. So I'll get <clears throat> okay. Um, is that the end? Uh, one more. No, oh, wait. I recently watched an episode of the hit British sitcom uh, entitled 
in betweeners uh, that includes a female character becoming excited by a male character making the fox sound of a tiger with so what's that so sound what's that oh word? yeah so oh. sound of a tiger. And Michelle enjoys your truly making faux sounds of a tiger. The same episode also includes mentions of the real-life musical group named Failsafe. And Nemo's song title by Failsafe includes Mirror, Mirror, and Time Moves Closer. The artwork of the Failsafe album uh, rotates features and a ship in a bottle and a link to my previous X Files Nemo and other fail safe album is entitled The Truth Is. On Facebook recently I spotted a Mimi um, is that Mimi? That Mamie? That includes the following jackalating Nemo text. Sometimes it is better to move on instead of being the only one willing to fix it. Yeah. And we we looked at that earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. And there's the fail safe rotates of the the ship in the bottle. So I'll put that in there. Cool, Rob. Yay. Well, thanks for sharing your mirror moment. You're always so uh, faithful and loyal and sending them in. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, awesome, awesome. Okay, so it's the Brady Bunch X Files episode, I guess, is what he's talking about. All right, well, that brings us to the end of our last Mirror Moments. Yeah, Mirror Moments. Yay! We got it. It was only uh, about two hours, a little under two hours, I think. 